If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I love planning out a good capsule wardrobe. Hello and welcome, or welcome back to Sew Pomona. I'm Rebecca, and I'm so glad you're here. On this channel, I love talking everything fashion and sewing with a focus on travel and capsule wardrobes. Now it's summer, and it is time to plan out my summer capsule wardrobe. Now this was perfect timing to share with you because I am just back from vacation and I brought this whole capsule with me so that I could see how it was practically working on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to add in some footage of how I wore each of these outfits while I was on vacation at my parents' house up in Bradenton. So it is almost back to school. My kids head back to school on Monday. And so we wanted to take one last trip to see the family, um, visit their cousins, and just enjoy the summer weather and get some swimming in. So this was a perfect week long trip and I had already planned out this capsule so I was ready to go. The best part about having a capsule wardrobe is how easy it makes it to get dressed every day. I'm gonna go through what I brought and I'm also going to explain how I decide what I'm going to sew to create a really cohesive and organized capsule wardrobe that I really wanna wear. So I keep this really simple and you're gonna see, this is the reason I sew a lot of neutrals and a lot of basic pieces. I find most of the time I like to wear neutrals and I like to wear a uniform. So this makes getting dressed every day really easy. Before I go further, let me tell you what I'm wearing today. I am wearing a Berta skirt. This is a midi skirt in this pecan ponty color um, with a little sneaker and a cropped self-drafted t-shirt in pink. So summery and very, very comfortable. Um, I'm working from home today, so I really like to be comfortable uh, when I'm working from home. And, um, and this is pretty much how I like to dress on a daily basis. I do love to add in fun prints, but I usually save those for specialty pieces, for dresses, for caftans, beach wear, and then um, some nicer pieces that I can mix in. So when I'm planning out a capsule wardrobe, I usually like to pick a theme and it's summer, so I went with a nice pastel base and then I mixed it up by having dark and light shades in here. So you're gonna see I have some blacks, I have some navy blue, um, I do have some fun colors. I have pink and orange, um, but then the rest of it is kind of white and cream and neutral. So I usually start by picking out my bottoms. And I feel like you really need three to five bottoms to make your wardrobe work um, so that you can do this and not have to do, do laundry for a full week. So I feel like I, for this trip, I brought four bottoms. That way I could wear everything twice if I needed to without having to worry about doing laundry. And I tried to pick pieces that I really would want to wear every day so that I can be comfortable. Brought one short. You probably saw this in last week's video when I was sharing my five summer essentials. So of course I had to bring my essentials with me. This is the Stylark Ellen short in a navy linen. Um, I'm going to talk more about this in my makes video for July. So you will see more details on this short in that video. And then I brought a culotte, a flood length pant. It's not quite full length, but this one's really nice and comfortable for summer. Um, this is a self-drafted version in a Lady McElroy linen. Um, really nice and lightweight and easy to wear. And then I brought two pairs of my favorite pant, uh, the Jolly Vanessa Fluid Pant. This is a sport pant that I have modified to um, make it a slightly wider leg, but I love the waistband treatment and the drawstrings and the pockets. So a really comfortable pant that I love throwing on every day. And these also work as my travel day pants. So our drive was about three and a half hours. So I really need to be comfortable sitting in the car for a long period of time. Then I pick my tops. Um, I like to have a lot more tops than bottoms. So you're going to see I have three t-shirts 
and five tank tops or blouses. This way I have a lot of options. I have one shirt for every day of the week if I need it. Um, and I can switch up my look really easily. Now I also pick very neutral colors or prints that will go with all of these bottoms. So they have to go with black, pink, cream, or navy blue. So this way, if everything can mix and match, I can wear everything multiple times. I could wear this all summer long. So my three t-shirts. I have a pale pink fitted tee. Uh, this is in the same fabric as the top I'm wearing, but this is a more fitted, uh, longer silhouette. And then I have two poppy tees from Clemente's Patterns. Uh, that's a French, in, it's a French indie pattern company and I love this t-shirt. So I have, I have one in this beige color and one in a white. And I'm going to have all the pattern and fabric details below in the description if you wanna find out more about the fabrics or the patterns I used. All right, next I have five tank tops. Now this is summer, so I want really lightweight, airy pieces um, that'll be pretty, but also feel good on in the heat of the day. Um, most days, it was in the 90s, we did have some rain, but very, very humid here in Florida. So I really wanted to be comfortable. So here is where my prints come in. I brought this uh, little Ajin Cami, beautiful silk from Rex Fabrics in Miami. Um, I'm going to add the link up here if you want to go back and watch that video. But I love this tank top and I thought with the pink, this is going to look so good with everything because it does have every color of those bottoms. And then another Ajin Cami, this one is in an orchid print. This is a sand washed silk. Um, from Amore Vert. I love this print. Um, I also have a jacket that matches this. So this one is beautiful. And this one does double duty because the other side, let me show you that. The reverse of this tank is in a cactus rose color, also in sand wash silk. I also have a pair of matching pants for this set. So this can be worn with both this can be worn either direction and um, I can get double wear depending on the mood I'm in. I can wear the print or I can wear the solid color. And again, this print matches every single bottom. I have a few neutral tank tops. I have a very simple white tank top. This one is self-drafted. This one is lined in swimwear fabric, which makes it really nice to wear when it's hot out. It just feels cooler against your skin. This is also in a swim fabric. This is from the Fabric Godmother. It's a marled swim fabric and it is lined in a nude swim lining. And this, I love the shape of this and it's very, very comfortable and also has that cooling factor. And then, and then I brought one accent piece. This is a tank top that I knit up a few years ago um, from Shibui Knits. Um, I don't knit as much as I used to. Uh, being here in Florida, it's just, I don't really find time to knit, knit in the heat. But this one is really cute and I like adding a bit of texture into my wardrobe uh, and something different to wear. And this again, matches with everything. And then I brought one dress. This is again, another piece in a swimwear fabric. Um, this I love because it's just a basic slip dress. I did self draft this one and I'll talk more about this in my July makes video, but a very simple dress that I can wear casually around the house or dress up. Um, I did wear this once, it was so comfortable and in that swim fabric, 
it just feels so great against your skin in the summer. Um, this one is, for, this fabric is from the Fabric Fairy. This is their uh, Black Palm Rex fabric. I find this, this is my favorite swimwear fabric. Um, I use this a lot. And so I was trying out my pattern in this. I do like to have one dressier piece in case I need to go out. And if I had gone somewhere dressier, I could have added the tank top over top or I could wear my layering pieces with it. And um, if you had a beautiful scarf, that would be another great thing to dress that up with. Even though it's summer, I do love a good layering piece. Um, I have a summer layering video. If you wanna go back and check that out, I will put that link up here. And so I do need layering pieces. Um, it's very cold in air conditioning down here in Florida. And so I do need something that I can throw on over any of these outfits if I'm indoors. Obviously I don't really need to wear these outside, um, maybe for some sun protection, but in general, these are for in the air conditioning. So I have my favorite Cardi. This is my Seafoam, this is my Seafoam Coppelia Cardi from Paper Cut Patterns. Um, I love how comfortable this is, and it really does look nice with everything because it's in that neutral pastel tone. I like to do different silhouettes and shapes of my layering pieces so I can make very different looking outfits. I have one dress shirt. This is the Liesl & Company dress shirt in this beautiful, almost sheer cotton. Um, this one has a slight sheen. I just love it. And so this I did wear as well, and it's nice for just layering over and I can roll up the sleeves as well. And then my last layering piece, this is a ready to wear cardigan from Anthropology in this beautiful cool gray. And um, this is the kind of piece I do like to buy because I don't knit very often. And um, I don't know if I could even knit this. It's so small, it would take me forever. But it is beautiful and I love this color. And I'm always freezing indoors in the AC. So I really needed something cozy to bring along with me on this trip. Oh, I also wanted to show you the accessories I brought. Um, this was a family vacation, so I really was going for comfort and simplicity. So I brought my one backpack for carrying my laptop so I could work away from home. And then I brought one neutral purse. Um, this is what I usually do. I did have a sport one. Um, I'm not showing you all the active wear and PJs and everything else that I brought with me, but this was my main purse and it does match with everything here. And then for shoes, I kept this really, really simple. I brought my Hoka's for going on walks and um, anywhere where I'd have to walk a lot. I like to wear sneakers. Um, it's just comfortable and in this pink tone, they do match with everything. And this is something I do each season. I try and match my shoes to my clothing so that I can mix and match my shoes as well very easily. And that way I don't have to bring as much footwear if I'm going on a trip. And it just makes getting dressed easier if your footwear matches your clothing. And I know a lot of people do it the opposite way. They will pick out their shoes and then match their clothing. But because I'm buying my own fabric, I can easily uh, work that around. And then I brought two pairs of sandals. I brought a leather pair of Vionics and then a white pair of Reef water shoes. Um, the water shoes I probably wore almost every day. Um, it's just something easy to slip on and go take the dog on a walk and be very comfortable. And then my brown leather shoes were to dress up any looks, I really do anything very formal. So I didn't need very dressy clothes, um, but I could have brought in another pair of dressier shoes if we were doing that. I like to plan out a few of these each season. Um, I'll mix up a different capsule every few weeks. So I'm changing out what I'm wearing, but this really, if I have this set up, it makes getting dressed so much easier every day. And then I just know what I'm going to mix and match. And this is my favorite method of getting dressed easily and quickly every day. So I don't really have to think about it. And um, these kind of silhouettes are my basic uniform. 
and you can do this yourself. Um, pick one great, pick one or two great t-shirt patterns, pick a great tank top pattern that you like. Um, I'll leave my pattern recommendations below as well for the ones that are self-drafted. And then a simple pant and a simple short, and then a few layering pieces and you're good to go. It's all about choosing your fabrics and making them work for you because with a simple silhouette, really you only have to worry about what fabrics you're matching together. All right guys, it is Sunday and I've just arrived at my parents' house. Um, I've got my suitcase, my bag, the kids are already inside hanging out with their grandparents playing some Trivial Pursuit. Um, it's about a three hour, it's about a three and a half hour trip from our home uh, near Fort Lauderdale up here to Bradenton. Um, my parents live here and then my sister lives down the street. So this is a great little getaway. So my kids are really excited to swim all week and I'm excited to relax and take a break. Um, right now I'm job hunting and I didn't have anything lined up yet for this week. So I thought might as well get away before the kids start school again in two weeks and enjoy our time with my parents. So I did first um, go over to my in-laws house. My husband and son had gone up there for the beginning of the weekend. So I picked up my son and brought him up here and my husband went back home for work this week. So I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. So it is Sunday and I am wearing my black travel pant, um, my Hoka sneakers and a little self-drafted pink t-shirt. Um, really simple, my hair's up in a ponytail. I've got my sunglasses. Um, so just a really simple, comfortable look because I was in the car for so long. So I'm hoping to get to share with you each day the outfits as I wear them. And and show you around my parents' home. Uh, it's beautiful up here and it is really nice to get away for a week. My current job ends at the end of August, but I work remotely so I can work from anywhere.
I am just back from vacation and I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. Sunday and I am wearing that uh, orchid print top and this one is reversible so I could wear this again on the other side. And I'm wearing that with my linen flood pants and a pair of sandals. So a very comfortable but pretty outfit for today. And I want to tell you, these were really successful outfits. I enjoyed wearing these every day. And with all the combinations of these different pieces together, I could make up to 44 or more looks uh, out of just these 16 pieces. You're pulling your pieces together for your wardrobe or sewing it. Um, if everything mixes and matches, you can make so many looks because each one of these tops could be worn with each of the bottoms. Now, I only showed what I wore for a week, but I could do a few weeks just wearing this particular set of clothing. So for the final tally, I had three layering pieces, four bottoms, three t-shirts, five tops, five tank tops or blouses, and one dress. The only piece I really didn't want to mix and match would be would be these navy shorts with this. Um, this would not be the perfect combination. So if I had had a different tank top, I could have possibly made even more looks. One great idea I did have, one great thing because this dress is such a basic piece, I wore it, you, you'll have seen in the video, I wore it with the Coppelia Cardi, but I could wear it with any of these layering pieces. And even with the, tank tops or shirts on top. Many of them would work. Um, the t-shirts, the looser fitting things, um, things like the silk cami. This would look great over this and it would give it a completely different look. So just with just a few pieces, you can make a really versatile capsule wardrobe. I hope you found this video helpful in designing your own capsule wardrobes and getting some ideas for what to sew in the summer. Um, let me know what you're working on sewing right now. Um, have you sewn any of these patterns? I'd love to know. Or do you have any favorite patterns that you love to sew every summer? Leave that below in the comments. I really want to thank all the returning subscribers and I love reading your comments each week. I try and respond to all of them. So please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you and it really helps to keep me inspired and keep producing videos each week. So really thank you for liking and subscribing to the channel. On Come Back Soon, uh, we did some thrifting on our vacation. My brother-in-law's sister Missy and I, we love uh, talking sewing all the time. Went thrifting with my daughter and my niece and we had a great time shopping Goodwill. And so I'm hoping to do a refashion video coming up soon. And if you love refashions, you should go watch Missy's channel. I'm going to leave the link to her YouTube channel down below. She does amazing videos. She's just started out. So you should really go check out her videos and follow her. Um, she is the queen of refashion. Um, she worked as a costume designer for a long time. And it is so great having someone in the family to talk sewing with. Um, come back soon. I'm going to be doing my July makes video. And my destination video for August is going to be a summer trip to Mackinac Island. I'm really excited to share this one. So come back soon to see more about that. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy sewing.